where at the Parliament of World Religion Interfaith Harmony Week with Alan Salmi. Well, one of the interesting things I found out here is that one of my lineages is connected in. I'm a local pagan. I moved to Chicago in about 1984. And shortly after moving there, I found my way into the pagan way tradition. Now, what a lot of folks don't realize is the pagan way was actually very big in the 60s and 70s, and we still have remnants of the pagan way here in Chicago. What is it? Well, one of the major figures was Herman Enderley. He was an initiate in both ceremonial magic in the Golden Dawn tradition, as well as Gardnerian Wicca. Along with working with the Gardnerian priestess uh, Donna Cole, he formed a whole tradition of the pagan way. And the idea here was to take the sort of right brain, uh, ecstatic witchcraft um, ways of working, along with the more left brain intellectual ceremonial magic traditions, and combine the two in a particular way. Now, there were several important priestesses that were, were in this tradition. Krista Hyde Landon went on and became a Unitarian Universalist minister and a doctorate of ministry. Uh, Ginny Brubaker also had a group, and my own teacher was Althea Northage Orr, who um, still continues to work, although she's basically semi-retired now. But um, her tradition was to take all of these together and to work with them in the Pagan Way system, which was a five-degree system instead of three, working with the elements. So you work through the elements and you uh, work on your spirituality that way. For the whole story about that is you can go to um, the, um, the open source common book of Wicca and I have a whole article on that. But Pagan Way was just one thing happening in Chicago. There was also the formation of the Covenant of Unitarian Universalist Pagans. Uh, Krista Hyden Landon was very important in that. So was Phaedra Bonowitz. Um, she later married Isaac Bonowitz, but she was one of the founding members of Cups. Cups has spread all throughout the United States with Unitarian Universalists. Um, another group, Midwest Pagan Council, is still in existence, I believe, and they were a group of various pagan traditions that came together, and they still continue to put on um, the, a, a very important pagan uh, um, uh, festival and uh, that happens once a year, although their leader, Stan Mosdrick, actually died a few years ago, sadly. In any case, Chicago has been a hotbed of things in pagan history, continues to have a lot of work uh, done from various groups. Um, various groups have come in, gone out. There are Thelemites here, there are Alexandrians here. This is a great place to learn about paganism.